right, today I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about pinch gripping. Um, uh, pinch grip is something I don't do too much of, unfortunately. I need to start increasing it. In my routine, I basically focus on, on, uh, on bending more or less. But I, I wanted to share with you uh, an idea I came up with. Um, once again, this is inexpensive, it's, it's portable, and it's basically the only thing I, 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 I've been using the train grip, the pinch gripping with. Um, the last few months. Um, with this device I was able to go, before I started using it, I was uh, barely able to break um, the 225 place um, and now I could, uh, I could pretty much uh, break 235 plates. Not to a full deadlift, I can uh, kind of break them off the ground. So definitely seems to, to, to be working, at least for me. So I wanted to share it with the rest of you guys. So basically, I'm not going to go into too much detail. If you guys are interested, just to either PM me or um, let me know and I'll give you uh, directions on how to build them, but it's pretty simple. This is the actual device. So once again, uh, it's, a, it's a portable uh, device you can use for plate pinch training or pinch, pinch grip training uh, in general. Uh, it consists of, uh, as you can see, two springs, uh, um, a U-bolt, and then basically two, uh, two handles in essence. Now, the thing I like about this is when you hold it, you're kind of holding like so, which kind of mimics the, the, the way that you naturally would hold two plates if you were to pinch them. And as you hold it like this, you just kind of put the pressure down with your thumb to squeeze it. Now you probably won't notice it moving very much. I've actually upgraded the, uh, the difficulty of the springs uh, to a much more difficult um, compression. And that's the great thing about this, because you can basically replace the springs. You can use um, easier springs, more difficult ones. Um, this actually has a lot of different uses for it. It's quite good because you could also train it for like your, your, your grip. Now, of course, you'd have to use quite stout springs for that. But um, I, use it, I use it instead for just kind of individual fingers. So you can kind of just use like that, you know, go for two finger, two finger closes and so forth. So it works quite nicely for that. But once again, you can play around with the springs. All these idea, ideas that I come up with are just kind of, kind of prototypes and so forth. So feel free to, to add or subtract to them. Um, but I think you guys will like it. Once again, let me know how it works for you guys. But this is for the, uh, the, 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 the pinch, uh, pinch grip training.